Kiefer Sutherland, you're 18 years old. You've had tremendous success already. What do you think of the uh, of the business that's supposed to be so hard to get into? You're you're doing pretty well. Um, it's it's odd because I, I started when I was 15 and I spent two years out of out of work, uh, and I was living on my own in Toronto. So the last success has been so fast f over the last year that it, I haven't slowed down quick enough to to grab it and take a look at it. So it's it's still quite a shock to me. Did you spend your adolescent years having fantasies about this situation developing? Yeah, of course I did. It's something I've always wanted to do. Um, I could never tell anybody. I was always worried whether my mother or my father would take me seriously, and I knew that if I told my friends, they wouldn't have token, taken me seriously. The kind of thing you're embarrassed to think about, yeah. being ambitious about. Sure. Yeah, so, so I kept it in the dark, and when I was 15, I knew that there was a, a large market for younger actors, and, and I had done some things before. I did a play in Los Angeles when I was 10 years old, and, and it was an equity show, and so I felt it was time to try and take advantage of that. So I came to Toronto from Ottawa, where I was living with my mother, mm -hmm. and uh, I set up base here, and I started to work. How did you uh, get your role in The Bay Boy, in, which was wonderful, and for which you got that Genie nomination? Thank you very much. Um, I went in for a call for Dan Petrie, uh, and he said it was a wonderful reading, and, and I knew who he was, and I knew that this was probably going to be one of the biggest uh, films made in Canada for a long time, not only this year. And it was incredibly exciting just to have met him. And he called me back, and I still thought nothing of it because that happens a lot. And then he called me back again. And then I started to get nervous, and this happened for three weeks mm -hmm. of constant reading with everybody. And it was the first time that I ever met half the actors in Toronto. So I had to read with everybody. So after a while, I started to feel like I've got this part, and then I started to really swing into full gear. And then he, he uh, phoned me up and said, you've got it. 